Welcome to the 3CX Quick Start Guide presented by Vox Telesis. Today we'll be configuring Vox Telesis SIP trunking on your 3CX PBX. Trunks allow your PBX to communicate with the public phone system. Without trunks, you would only be able to make calls to extensions that are directly connected to your PBX. Before we get started, you will need the following information. Your SIP trunk domain name, username, and password. If you do not have this information, please contact Vox Telesis and they will be happy to provide it to you. Let's start by clicking on the SIP Trunks tab in the 3CX dashboard. Click the Add SIP Trunk button. Select US from the Select Country drop-down menu. Select Vox Telesis from the Select Provider in your country drop-down menu. Fill in your primary DID number into the Main Trunk Number form field. Fill in your provided domain name into the Registrar, Server, Gateway, Hostname, or IP form field. Enter your provided username into the Authentication ID, aka SIP User ID, form field. Fill in your provided password into the Authentication Password form field. Scroll down to the Route Calls To section. This is where you will choose how 3CX will route inbound calls for your provided DID. In this example, we're going to route calls going to this DID to the front office extension. Make sure that destination for calls outside of office hours is set to your desired destination. We will cover managing office hours in an upcoming video. Next, click on the DIDs tab and copy the main DID number. Click on the caller ID tab. Paste your main DID number into the configure outbound caller ID form field. Please note that having a caller ID that matches one of your company's DIDs is crucial to the proper function of your SIP trunk. Skipping this step may result in outbound calls not going through. When you are finished, go ahead and click on the OK button. You should see a green dot next to your SIP trunk if everything has been configured properly. If there's an issue with your trunk's configuration, there will be a red dot next to your trunk. In the event of a red dot, you will need to go back to your Vox Telesis trunk settings and verify that all necessary fields have been filled in correctly. If you're still having issues, you may need to call Vox Telesis and have a technician assist you with troubleshooting. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.